You may be an online seller which sells on multiple channels but still have their Shopify account as their main fulfillment hub. This may happen because you may have connected to your Shopify account third-party apps to run your invoices, to run your warehouse, to run your shipments, or maybe you just like Shopify backend, you're used to it, or your team is used to process orders within it. In such case, even though you sell on multiple channels, you may want your multiple channels orders all synchronized into Shopify so that you can fulfill them from Shopify. This video shows you how you can use Nemble to connect your channels, connect your products, and when you get a sale, transfer such sale, transfer such order from different channels into your Shopify account so that you can centrally manage your orders. Right now, Nemble order transfer works from Etsy, and we manage up to two Etsy accounts, Shopify two into Shopify one, eBay, and we manage up to two eBay accounts at the moment, from Amazon, from WooCommerce, and from Store Envy. If you activate this function, Nemble will start getting your orders. This doesn't work for past orders, so whatever is your order history in Amazon or eBay or Etsy and the like will stay where it is. Just from the moment you turn on the function, orders will be transferred into Nemble. So let's move and go in front of a screen and see how it works. And let's do it together. Follow me. All right, we're here with uh, the Nemble backend. First of all, we go in Shopify settings and beware that we have Shopify connected and Shopify 2 not connected. The order transfer currently works only towards Shopify 1. So if you know that you have a main Shopify connected to your Shopify 1 channel in Nemble, because Shopify 2 doesn't have the option to receive orders. All right, so we open the settings of our Shopify 1, and you can see there's a transfer order to Shopify, which is currently off, we turn it on, and we save changes. We now go back into products tab and uh, we can see for instance this first product and it's listed on Etsy, WooCommerce and Shopify. So if I want the order to come through, I first need the order to come into Nemble. For that to happen, we need to set quantity sync on for both Etsy and WooCommerce and then the order to go from Nemble into Shopify. So we go in channels once again, we open the Etsy settings and we make sure the quantity sync is on. It's all right. Then we go into WooCommerce. The quantity sync from WooCommerce is on. That's fine. If you keep that off, your orders won't appear in Nemble. Now we go back in products. We said this product is listed in Etsy. I proceed to check out and we have now an order in Etsy and go in my Etsy backend, check orders and there it is. Right. So now we go back in Nemble and we expect this order to be among the orders in the orders tab. The polling of orders happens every few minutes. It can be five minutes or 10 minutes, depending on how the connection between servers work. We refresh every now and again, and within 10 minutes, you see the order appearing. Check now the difference between this new order and the previous one. The previous one had transfer orders to Shopify off. In fact, the transfer column was inactive. Well, now we have the channel where the order came in with the Etsy logo and the transfer to Shopify active. Awesome. Now double check what happens in Shopify. For the order to go into Shopify, we need the same product to exist in Shopify. Don't expect Nemble to generate products into your Shopify account. You need the product to be in Shopify, the product to be in the destination channel where the order comes through, and the system will look for the same product which was ordered in, say, Etsy in this moment, or WooCommerce as previously. It's gonna look for the same product into your Shopify account. So you need the three icons here, or at least the two icons, Etsy and Shopify, to have your order transferred from Etsy to Shopify. Let's open Shopify. There it is, orders. And there it is. The first order 
is an order for one dollar which we've seen and it has tags etsy and nimble this is to make it easier for you to tell which is which between orders that got into your shopify account directly through shopify and orders that got into your shopify account through nimble so you're going to have the nimble tag order tag and the channel in this case etsy tag if we open the order you see the product with its queue and its price nimble will not transfer anything else than the product. So if you have within the channel Etsy or WooCommerce or eBay or Amazon coupons, discounts, ship costs, this will not be transferred into Nimble and they will not be transferred into Shopify. Just because the ship cost, the object ship cost, which you have in WooCommerce or in Amazon, it's uh, nothing you can have or invent, create or generate into your Shopify account. So beware of that when you're running invoices. The the other strict aspect is that the price you see for that product in that order is the Shopify price. So if you have applied price rules as we've seen in other videos inside Shopify currently you will always have the Shopify price in the order. This may generate small differences between the order you may invoice in Shopify and the amount you got paid in the third-party channel. The last important point is that there's no feedback from Shopify to the channel. So if you have a tracking number you'll have to paste that tracking number into the channel where you got the order which will notify your buyer that the order was shipped and allow them to track the order on the courier website. Beware that the channels have to be connected to Nimble when the order comes. If your channels are disconnected orders will not go through and there's no way to collect historical orders. And the last important point is that when you get a multiple item order, this will be transferred into Nimble and also into Shopify as one order per ordered item. Just beware of this when you see orders. There's still an order number, which is the source order number in Nimble, but you see two orders, for instance, in Shopify, if you got two items ordered in the same order in, for instance, eBay or WooCommerce. So that's all for the order transfer function. All right, we've seen how you can set Nimble to transfer your multi-channel orders into your Shopify account. And from there, you can manage them as you would do with any other Shopify orders. So any questions you had, just ask in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to this channel to be prompted when we will publish new videos. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye. Ciao.